Okay, as you can see now, we have the uh, hydromat fully assembled here. And uh, now it's fully assembled. There's only a few things uh, left to, uh, you know, yeah, take into mind when you're building this thing. <clears throat> the first one would have to be uh, the uh, check valves. Always remember to have a uh, check valve on the uh, tubes conveying water from the uh, feed tank going to the uh, first stage, going to the second stage, into the uh, third stage here, and then into this uh, reservoir. Always make sure that you have a check valve on it in order to prevent any backflow. So uh, you have the check valve pointing so that it only open up going towards uh, where it's supposed to go. And uh, that way it'll prevent any uh, backflow back into the tank that it came out of. So as you can see, we have all the check valves here and stuff. They'll have uh, hose clamps on them. Each and every barb fitting, I recommend they put a hose clamp on to prevent uh, any potential leaking because that will easily cut down your, uh, on the performance of your device. And that can even cause the uh, tubes to pop off because that's happened to me a few times with the, like, the uh, automatic water feeder and the uh, drain tank tubes. There will just be so much uh, water flowing through them that they'll actually pop off uh, from time to time when well, I don't have any uh, hose clamps on them. So I went out and got some hose clamps and that problem has been uh, solved. So always make sure that you have uh, your, some hose clamps on your uh, fittings. Make sure they're not too tight because you might um, might basically it might uh, destroy the uh, might squeeze the tube too much and kind of destroy the uh, tubing. So you don't want it to be too tight yet at the same time you want to be able to uh, prevent any leakage. So always recommend you get that on it on a barb fitting. Another thing I want to point out <clears throat> after the uh, check valves would have to be uh, if you want to do uh, kind of make this uh, tube here shorter as you can see like uh, the tubes leading out of the first stage right here this thing goes right through the uh, drain the uh, feed tank and the reason why is that if I cut it down to the point that I wouldn't touch the uh, water in the feed tank, if this thing was full, uh, the hose would kink. So if I had uh, too short of a hose, the hose would be uh, kinking on me. And that's why I ended up uh, having it nearly touch the bottom of the uh, feed tank here. It's because I didn't want any uh, kinks out of this thing. And uh, if you want to get around that, the easiest way to do go about doing that is to replace this uh, straight barb fitting here with a uh, elbow barb fitting that uh, it's basically a barb that it goes off that goes like this but it also bends at a 90 degree angle and you can just have that you know ha shoot the uh, tube out horizontally and then into this right here instead of having to go straight down and slowly uh, curve its way up into the uh, second stage right here and uh, same thing for the uh, third stage. As you can see, this tube here goes long distance all the way up to here into this reservoir tank. And uh, as you can see right here, this would also need a uh, elbow fitting, which I would highly recommend using the elbow fitting for this tank here. Because as you can see, just the weight of the hose is pulling down and uh, constricting that thing and nearly kinking that uh, tube right there. So if you replace this uh, straight bar fitting here, with an elbow barb fitting and just ran it out to the side and uh, just straight down through here you won't have the uh, you won't have to worry about this thing kinking like that so there's another thing I wanted to point out for this uh, device and the uh, third thing or fourth thing whatever I'm on uh, do that I just want the LCD around third thing is uh, to make sure that we have an input tube here, which uh, this would be the uh, input for the guard hose. So I'd uh, hook a guard hose to this adapter here, then I'd go to the uh, tubing. I always want to make sure that uh, you either have this thing hang over the top of the shelf, or like I did, I drilled some holes in the shelf. So I drilled one here in the front, and one here in the back, and then thread it into the automatic water feeder so that this tube here, at least part of the tube, will lay on this uh, shelf here, and uh, it'll, the shelf will bear most of the weight of the guard hose and the water and the hose and the tubing and stuff, 
all that weight is going to be transferred in large part to this uh, shelf here. So that will help prevent uh, any uh, stress or whatever on this uh, fitting here for the automatic water feeder. Because what happened is, is if you had this tube running underneath this shelf, just running directly to this uh, fitting here, and it wouldn't sit on top of the shelf at all, if you had that happen, this uh, bar fitting right here, imagine this would be the bar fitting, what would happen is the uh, weight of the uh, hose would just want to pull down this thing and either kink it or even pop it right off the uh, fitting. So that's why you want to have this thing lay over the top of the shelf. And that's about it. So, hope you enjoyed the whole uh, How to Make Your Own Hydromat series. Uh, very much look forward to anybody's uh, improvements or, uh, you know, at least, you know, even just replications and stuff like that. Always like to see what other people have uh, for ideas and stuff, you know. And uh, you know, hopefully together we can uh, make, a, uh, make some better devices out there and help out the world.